Oh, hey. Sorry we didn't see you there. My name is Matt. My name's Ian. And welcome to Cuddle Sutra Takeover. So today, we're filling in for Melissa and Rachel because we are bros, and today is all about bros cuddling. We're here to step outside of that weird zone that people are so afraid to get into and show you that it's hard if bros cuddle. Yeah. Easy, breezy, beautiful cuddle bros. The leading experts in bro cuddling, Matt and I have discovered that there are five stages. The first one is kind of just what's going on right now, you know, like we're watching a movie, maybe a video on like our computer, it's all good. Like a nice shoulder Nice touch. shoulder to shoulder, just like, hey bro, yeah, I'm here. We don't really know each other super well yet, but we're close enough to like, as friends, to actually touch and hang out rather than doing the whole like, opposite sides of the couch thing. Yeah. Step two, still watching a movie, you know, shoulder to shoulder. Most bro cuddles do occur during the film. Yeah, and if it's a scary movie, things happen and you, and you get they, you get jumpy, right? I don't know about you, but Friday the 13th definitely does get some, oh. some big old jump scares out of me. Yeah. Step three comes after the movie. You just finished watching, probably exhausted. It's done, it's late, it's time to go to bed. But yeah. you know how far your house is and you know how drunk you are? That's not happening. Yeah, so you look around the space, you realize, you know what, we're gonna have to share this open space. So you just kind of lay down, yeah. back to back, still being like, yo, I'm here, you're my man, but no, like, spoonings going on. Step four. It's kind of just the opposite of step three. Instead of facing back to back, just face front to front. This one usually occurs, like, in the middle of the night, usually when you're still asleep, and then you wake up and it's like, a, oh, how you We're doing, facing bro? each other, like, good morning, and then you, maybe you flip back over to the other side, but like, you acknowledge that that had happened. Cause you know what, at this point in your friendship, you're probably close enough that it's not weird to be like, facing your bro while you're asleep. Yeah. Step five, it's gonna take a little bit of a different turn. Because sometimes you just have a really rough emotional day, and you just need to talk to somebody about it. So you just simply lay down, like maybe on the ground, on your bro's stomach, and just kind of let it all out. Yeah. It's like one of those exercises where a bunch of people make a chain where one head is on a person's stomach and then someone else is on theirs and it's a very relaxing like opening way and it's nice because it's it's hard for a lot of guys to be emotional and yeah. it's hard for a lot of guys to be vulnerable and this way it's there is the contact of having someone there for you but it's you don't even have to like look at them it's just knowing that they're there and having someone to chat with and there you have it. Those are the five stages of bro cuddling. Because every bro sometimes need a cuddle. But this journey does not end here. In fact, we challenge you to grab your best bro and post a photo of you guys cuddling with the hashtag bro cuddles. That simple. And we'll pick our favorite ones. And here at Cuddle Sutra, we're really just all about everybody being comfortable and open with their best friends, whether you're guys or girls. So really, there's nothing to feel weird about, unless you're part of the problem. This has been Cuddle Sutra. I am Ian Highland. I'm Matt Peterson. We'll cuddle, cuddle you later. On. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>